Dean, an excellent 2-0 win against York today. Your thoughts? Yeah, listen, they made it difficult for us. We knew they'd sit in. The way Ards have set him up since he's got there, he's gotten fitter, stronger, more organised than when we first played them. Back in, I think it might have been October, was it? Maybe September, October. Um, and they made it difficult for us. Uh, first goal was crucial. We knew sort of if they got it, it'd be a difficult day. They did against Gateshead. They played a similar way against Gateshead on New Year's Day and they managed to get a goal early, which uh, which allowed them to sit in and play in the counter-attack. And they've got power and pace in their front line, but from our point of view, you know, we've shown the strength and depth of our squad today. And we've been, we were outstanding. We managed to get a 16-year-old on the pitch as well, so for his debut. And um, I thought all in all, it was a brilliant team performance. Callum said came into the start and 11 today, two excellent finishes from him. How did you evaluate his performance today? Yeah, did exactly. He could have had a hat-trick as well. Did exactly what we wanted him to do. Um, he penetrated sort of from that midfield area, high up the pitch. Um, he could he could have had a few goals, actually. He's a chance in the first half as well, if not two. So, look, he makes good runs steady. He's honest as a day's long. Um, he's a solid finisher. He's just got to keep walking on that. We've got to keep walking with him on, it, on his game. So, um I thought he had a brilliant performance with him and he's the match winner today so he deserves all the plaudits. Harry Pritchard was played uh, in the sort of left left back role today. Uh, what was the thinking behind that and uh, how did you think he got on today? Yeah, yeah. Listen, Fallafield for them is one of their real threats, athletic boy. Um, we just felt the other day against all the shots, we were a little bit ran all over. We looked a, bit, a little bit tired and I sort of said that in the interview. When I look back at it, we were a little bit tired. To be fair to all the shots, they were very athletic on the day. Um, and I just thought with, um, with Cokes, He's played every minute of the la of, for the last recent weeks, and I just thought we could get Pritch out there, bring Steady into midfield, sort of attack a midfield role, and I thought Steady had really hurt him. And Pritch did a good job on Fallafield, to be fair. He was quite quiet on the day, um, and he's just so reliable, Pritch. That's what captains do, that's what leaders do. He, he does the job, yeah. And a clean sheet today, you must be proud of that. Yeah, delighted. We need to give one up at the end. I was a little bit frustrated how they got in there, but all in all, very limited them to very little chances, some uh, uh, efforts from distance. But I felt that performance today have a, big, a bigger scoreline, I have to be honest with you. Um, but I'm just delighted with the victory and clean sheets is what get you promoted. That's, that's, that's the key, that's what brings you success, in my opinion. We haven't had enough of them. Um, and I thought we fully deserved it today. We deserved one in previous games. We've been playing well, sort of apart from the night where we stayed in the game, we dug deep against all the shot. We've been playing really, really well. I'm really happy with our performances at Gateshead, at Foiled, our performance here against Wheelstone, our performance again today has been very dominant. And um, our performance levels are really high. We've got to keep to them standards. You've already touched on it, but Patrick came on uh, to make his debut today from the academy. A great moment for him. Yeah, 16 year old kid. He's been progressing really well within the youth system. Um, he's sort of been a star player within the U team as well. So uh, I know Connor takes a lot of the sessions and he raves about him. He's been training with us sort of the last three weeks, and that's what we're all about here. The progress we've made is huge as a football club over the last two and a half years since I've been here. And anyway, so we want to continue to do that. Uh, young players, I'm really infectious. They they make it. Um, they make a football club. It's the heart and the heart and soul of the football club, really. Developing our own players, and Barnett have had a great reputation of doing that over the years. So all in all, we're delighted for the kid. And next up now, Chesterfield, a big test on Tuesday night. Yeah, huge test, yeah, yeah. proper team. Um, we're looking forward to it. Let's see how the boys are, see how we recover from this um, and see where we are come Tuesday night. We've just got to keep taking it one game at a time. We've got 12 to go. Uh, we're in a fantastic position and uh, it'll be a great game. Uh, Cookie side absolutely flying. They've had an amazing season and obviously they're champions elect for me. So um, let's see. It's a free hit for us and we'll have a good goal. The last time we played, it was a great game. Um, and hopefully be similar again, but hopefully the scoreline goes for us this time. So we need to get this place rocking though. We're going to need the hive absolutely buzzing and bouncing. We've got to get on the front foot, get after them and show and show people what we can do. So we're going to need the supporters right behind us. Uh, hope they enjoy the weekend, they enjoy that victory as well. Dean, congratulations. Thank you for your time.